AI Nexus, wait no more. Sam Altman has confirmed GPT-5 is now in production. From a mere concept to a digital phenomenon, GPT models have revolutionized how we interact with AI. But as whispers of GPT-5 start surfacing, one question looms large. Are we looking at a revolutionary leap or just another step in AI's evolution? Welcome to the era of GPT-5. It has officially begun. Join me, Alex Shepard, as we delve into the depths of what GPT-5 might bring to the table. We continue to pull back the layers, and the AI Nexus has new insight into the world of GPT-5. The enigma, the expectations, and the challenges ahead. The next chapter in our future is here, and I'm not going to lie, it's pretty darn cool. In a world where technological advancements are measured in months, not years, OpenAI's CEO Sam Altman has thrown a curveball. The development of GPT-5. Earlier this year, Altman kept his cards close to his chest and in 2023 had previously denied any immediate plans for a new iteration. Fast forward to this week, and the script has flipped. In mid-November 2023, Altman admitted that OpenAI is actively working to develop GPT-5. In an interview with the Financial Times, the OpenAI had also confirmed some news that many already had anticipated. Specifically, that the partnership with Microsoft is going to be key in developing, as he puts it, AI-based superintelligence. In his own words, Altman says that one of the main goals is to build superintelligence and work towards AGI, or Artificial General Intelligence. Altman claimed that the vision is to make AGI figure out how to make it safe and figure out the benefits. More on AGI in a moment. This shows that GPT-5 is not just an idea, it's a work in progress. And it seems like the idea is to build it up so that it leads to bigger and possibly scarier things, as in AGI. The partnership with Microsoft is undoubtedly going to provide the ChatGPT team with immense resources, not only in the form of billions of dollars in funding, but also in the form of Microsoft's vast experience in computing and software. But let's get back to GPT-5. What is it, and what is driving this rapid succession of AI models? Let's take a closer look. The buzz around GPT-5 is not without merit. Imagine an AI that can understand and respond to complex, long-form conversations. An AI that doesn't just process information, but comprehends and contextualizes it. With OpenAI's recent focus on acquiring high-quality, diverse data sources, including collaborations with major publishers, GPT-5 could very well be the dawn of a new age in AI. Smarter, more nuanced, and astonishingly perceptive. But what sets it apart from its predecessors? The key lies in the data. Not just more of it, but better. High-quality, nuanced data could enable GPT-5 to grasp the subtleties of human expression like never before. Indeed, Altman has admitted that the data is going to be at the heart of GPT-5, and that the internet is going to be a key source of datasets. He claims that OpenAI will also be working with companies who can provide high-quality data for training the new model. Developing GPT-5 isn't just about smart algorithms, it's a massive technical endeavor. The computational power required is monumental. With the acquisition of NVIDIA's latest H100 chips, OpenAI is gearing up for what could be the most data-intensive project in AI history. Training an AI model as sophisticated as GPT-5 involves not just weeks or months of computational labor, but also extensive testing and fine-tuning. It's a delicate balance between innovation and safety, pushing the boundaries while ensuring reliability. As we talked about in a previous video, NVIDIA is also launching a new GPU, the H200, about twice as fast and powerful as the current market-leading chip and built on their Hopper architecture. Meanwhile, other rivals, including Google and Microsoft, are promising that new chips and GPUs are in the works. The arrival of new market challenges could be a big benefit to new versions of ChatGPT and other language models, as they will be able to handle more data in less time. It is speculative, but those in tech will be closely watching to see how OpenAI leverages these kinds of technological advances. However, every new and visionary product encounters its share of turbulence. OpenAI's path with GPT-4 was fraught with challenges server overloads, security concerns, and more. In November, there was big news when GPT Builder was announced, and it was barely a few days later that OpenAI ran into a slew of problems. In early November, ChatGPT was down for millions of users around the world, and it wasn't the first time a major outage occurred. At least some of the outages have been attributed to DDoS, or Distributed Denial of Service Attacks, a favorite tool of hackers who want to take down company websites. OpenAI admitted earlier this month that they had been targeted through this kind of attack, and it has impacted the platform's capacity to handle clients. Some analysts attribute the attack to Russian groups, which are invariably either state-sponsored or state collaborators. It is a powerful message. The bigger you get, the juicier a target you become. And with people increasingly relying on ChatGPT, you can bet that it will be in the sights of many malicious actors. In another incident, overwhelming demand led to OpenAI putting a pause on new Plus memberships on November 8th. In this unprecedented move, 
Critics have pointed out that OpenAI might be getting ahead of itself, promising big services and products but not having the capability to deliver them. Also, as we promised, we'd return to AGI. What does that mean exactly? The idea of AGI is that AI can one day get to a point where it is so advanced that it can rival human intelligence. AGI represents the pinnacle of AI, and a possible point at which human intelligence might be rendered obsolete. So in terms of ethics, the fact that GPT-5 is, as Altman has admitted, a stepping stone in OpenAI's insatiable race towards AGI is a bit frightening. Should companies be developing toward AGI at all costs? Or should there be some more pausing, debating, and thinking about what is being developed? Some have even called for laws and regulations to keep companies under some degree of control or accountability. Seen like this, development of GPT-5 is not just a technological challenge, but a logistical and ethical one as well. Can OpenAI manage the delicate act of scaling up while maintaining quality and security? Can they actually create a truly advanced next-level model when they seem to be struggling with GPT-4 and GPT-4 Turbo? Is OpenAI biting off more than it can chew with GPT-5? Only time will tell. But one thing is clear. OpenAI has a truly ambitious vision and seems to be determined to go as far as they can in the AI game. Now, it's easy to listen to the news of GPT-5 and think that ChatGPT is the only horse in town. Of course, in the new world of AI, no giant stands alone. The landscape is teeming with competitors, each vying for a piece of the AI pie. As OpenAI forges ahead with GPT-5, competitors like Google DeepMind or Bard and startups like Anthropic and Character AI are not far behind. Meanwhile, Meta seems to have hit a home run with Llama 2, their open-source LLM which so far has spawned a huge mass of iterations and versions that are completely customizable and unique. This competition is fueling a veritable AI arms race, pushing the boundaries of what these digital platforms can achieve. But it's not just about who gets there first, it's about who can create an AI that is truly transformative. Of course, for those of us who aren't invested in any specific platform, we can only be excited to see this competition heat up. It will hopefully push products like GPT-5 to be even better so as to outshine their rivals, ultimately creating greater benefits for us lowly users. With GPT-5, we once again find ourselves at a pivotal moment in AI history. It's a venture that goes beyond technological prowess to touch upon the very fabric of society. How will GPT-5 impact our daily lives? From revolutionizing customer service to redefining educational tools, the implications are profound. Yet, as we embrace these advancements, we must also grapple with their ethical and societal impacts. The responsibility lies not just in creating advanced AI, but in steering it toward the greater good. As we peer into the horizon, GPT-5 stands as a beacon of both hope and caution. As we eagerly anticipate the arrival of GPT-5, let's not forget the responsibility that comes with such power. This is Alex Shepard from AI Nexus, reminding you to stay curious, stay informed, and stay tuned for what the future holds. If you like this video, be sure to check out this one here. Until next time.